Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is part four of our setting up. So we left off, we just started working on the character generation scene, and the next thing we want to do is actually create our, our player prefab. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and, uh, for my assets, I'm using the Fro Games character in Warriors, or maybe it's Warriors and Characters, let me just see here. Uh, it's Warriors and Commoners, sorry. Uh, th this is the model set I've chosen to use. Uh, feel free to go ahead and create your own. Um, while I'm setting this up, I'll point out the key things that you actually want to incorporate into your model to have it work with the system. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to go ahead and import a new package. And it's a custom package. And I have it on my desktop. And I call it Fro Games right there. So I'm going to go ahead. It's going to go ahead and decompress my package and include everything. There's actually quite a few things here. Uh, so I'm just going to hit import. And this is actually going to take a while. So while it imports, I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll come back once it's done importing. All right, so here we are. We have it done importing. And if you open it up, it actually does come with a scene. Now, I downloaded mine a long time ago, and I think there actually might be a new demo scene in the package. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I downloaded mine probably about a year ago. Uh, but if you open it up, uh, you'll notice that you have um, quite a few different characters here. Let me just start this up. I've got it set to maximize on play, just so you can see it a bit better. Uh, you basically have two meshes. You have the muscular mesh and the fat mesh, and a bunch of different armors and weapons and uh, little doodads that you can add to your character to uh, completely customize it. Now, I'm not really sure exactly how many possible variations there are, but uh, there's quite a few. And what I actually did was turned a lot of these into my NPCs and just kind of tweaked them a bit. But uh, let's go back into the scene that we're actually working on, which is our character generation. And let's create our first player character prefab. Uh, for this one here, we don't actually need the mesh or anything anything else um, attached to it. All we really need is the script attached to uh, some sort of game object uh, to hold our player stats for us while we're creating it. Uh, so if you don't need the mesh, which in my game I don't for this scene, uh, you can come up here. Let me just turn the, that off. Uh, you can create an empty. Uh, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it um, uh, I don't know, empty player. And then I'm going to come over to the component menu. We'll go to the hack and slash tutorial. Come down to player. And I'm going to select this PC stats one. That's all I need on this character. Uh, later on when we actually create the full character, uh, one with the mesh and everything else, one that we actually want to use to interact with the game. Uh, we'll want to be attaching all of the scripts, but for this character here, we don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach that script to it. And if you come over here, you're going to notice that you have a lot of mount points and initialized, exposed. Uh, for this particular character, we don't need to deal with any of this stuff. Uh, basically, uh, this just allows the, the game to actually start up. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll maximize on play again. I'll hit play. And you'll notice uh, everything's laid out. Um, we're not getting any errors. If you look down here, uh, let's open it up. We'll notice all we did was get the PC awake, which is just a debug message. And uh, if you actually feel, spend all your points over here and fill in your name, you'll actually get a little button pop up in the middle here that says next, uh, which will bring you on to the next, uh, next scene which is uh, the customization scene. Now for that one, we're actually going to need to create our actual full character with the mesh so we can uh, customize everything that we need. Uh, but there's a few things here I wanted to point out. Uh, here are my tributes. I have these in my, let me just open up, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to stop this. Uh, they're in my attribute script. If I can spell it right, <laughs> attribute. So we'll just open this up and right here is where all my attributes are. Feel free to go ahead and add them or subtract the ones you don't want. Uh, I would definitely try to keep the same numbering order. Uh, you don't need to, but uh, actually I would, yes. Keep the same numbering order. You don't really need the numbers there. Uh, we talked about it in one of the other earlier tutorials why the numbers are there. Uh, but anyway, feel free to add more. And also the vital script also has my vitals in it. And my skill script will have an enumeration at the bottom with all the with all the uh, skills in it. So you uh, between those three scripts, you can go ahead and customize exactly how many skills and attributes and vitals your character is going to have. I'm going to go ahead and just name my guy. 
and I'm just going to start spending points. And if you notice, as I spend points, uh, different stats change as points go up. Uh, we'll throw some in willpower, and you can see that affects a couple things as well. Uh, and this is all done through our character script. So let me finish spending these points here. And just show me, I just want to make sure it goes on to the next level without an error. All right, so I get my little next button here. And we hit start, and it went on to the next level. So that's great. Now, I did also want to point out that I put these in a GUI area. So this should be easy to move around for whatever GUI skin you actually want to use. Uh, but since the Necromancer GUI skin was free and available to everyone, and it looks pretty good, uh, I decided to stick with it just for the tutorials. So let's close this down. And I'm going to come into my resources folder. And I'm going to create another folder in here, which I'm going to call player. Oh, I'm sorry, character. And I can't remember the exact path, uh, but I do know that it is in my game settings to folder. Uh, right here, character model prefab is what I'm looking for. So character, we'll create another folder in here. Model. And I don't really need the prefab, but I'm going to make the prefab here. Actually, I'm not going to put this one in the folder because it's not really needed. I'm going to be using it occasionally, um, but not a lot. So I'm actually going to make the prefab in this folder. So we'll go ahead and make a prefab. And I'm just going to call it empty player. Let me just go ahead and set it up. So there we are. I now have a uh, prefab for any time I just need the access to the stats. Uh, but I am going to continue uh, creating this folder structure over the head over here. So we had character, model, uh, prefab, human, male. Uh, create folder, fab. I'm just going to copy it. Uh, prefab, male, or no, human, male. And we'll put that one inside of here. And we need the male. And I do have a folder for female, but I actually have no female models. Uh, if you do, go ahead and create your female hierarchy as well. There'll just be a female folder here. I can actually go ahead and create the folder. Uh, I eventually intend to make a few some sometime, but uh, not any time in the immediate future. So I do have that folder structure made. I'm gonna come in here and I am going to create two new prefabs. I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to call this uh, muscular and fat. And those will be the two prefabs we start to create in the next tutorial uh, when we need them for our next scene. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, by now you should have your first two scenes done. If we actually went into the next scene, let me shrink this down which is character customization and did like we did before went ahead and threw a box in there uh, made sure it was at the default position uh, we'll take off uh, we don't take off the maximize and play let's just go to character generation generation and we'll start it up just to make sure that we are actually going to that scene I'm just gonna throw it all in constitution and I guess I should have increased uh, or I guess decreased the uh, delay timer for our, our repeating button here. But we'll just let it go. And we'll hit next. And of course, we get onto the scene with the cube. And I'll be using that cube in the next uh, tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, but anyway, your first two scenes are done, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.